It's no secret that most polyamorous people transition into it from monogamy. It's very common to enter the wonderful world of polyamory with a previously monogamous partner. In this video, I want to talk about six mistakes that newly polyamorous couples make. I've done a lot of these myself, so don't feel bad if it sounds like I'm describing you. It's all part of learning and growing. Mistake number one, making rules instead of boundaries. There's a difference? Well, it does depend a bit on who you ask, but in general, a boundary is something established to protect your own autonomy, whereas a rule is something someone else is expected to abide by. For example, a boundary might be something like, I'm not comfortable going on a date at this restaurant because it's special to me and my partner. A rule would be more like, you cannot go to this restaurant because it's special to us. Boundaries keep an individual's autonomy completely intact, whereas rules sometimes don't, even if they're agreed upon. Things tend to go a lot better when you're looking out for yourself and not trying to control or limit others. That's not to say all rules are bad, but you need to think carefully about if you're placing harsh limits on someone else or if you're being limited yourself. Mistake number two, agreeing to rules and boundaries you're not comfortable with in order to please your partner. If you're establishing rules and boundaries with someone and you find yourself hesitating, do not agree to these things without more thought and discussion. You do not want to agree to something that's going to make things far more difficult for you in the future. The most common example I can think of is the one penis policy. This is most commonly established so that a woman in an existing relationship with a man can explore her queerness while protecting the comfort of the man. The woman may think, well this is fine because I don't want to date other men anyway, but they might in the future and that could cause big problems down the road. Also, if you don't want to date other men in the first place, why does there need to be a policy about it? I have a whole video about why I think OPPs are always unethical, so if you're typing a comment about it, go watch that video first. Anyway, you should give a lot of thought before agreeing to any rules or boundaries that could cause you problems in the future. Mistake number three. Establishing conflicting rules and boundaries with different partners. This one often happens by accident. You should always keep existing rules and boundaries in mind when establishing things with a new person. It's important to note that this one goes both ways. You might find yourself in a situation where you want to establish a rule or a boundary with a new person that conflicts with an existing one. And it's not exactly fair to say, well, this person came first, so too bad. It is perfectly acceptable to have a conversation with existing partners about adjusting rules and boundaries so everyone can be informed and happy. Remember that communication is the ultimate key to success in polyamory. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button to help me out with the algorithm. Thanks. Mistake number four, trying to date too many people. Being new to polyamory can be very exciting. You open up a world of possibilities that you didn't have before. You may be tempted to make a lot of dates with a bunch of different people to get yourself out in the dating scene. But then, before you know it, you're establishing expectations of yourself with multiple people at once. You could then find yourself overwhelmed and unable to give what everyone wants of you. Be very careful not to overwhelm or overbook yourself to the point that you're neglecting others and your own well-being. Love may be a limitless resource, but time and attention are not. Mistake number five, forcing a thruple. A thruple, also known as a triad, is a relationship structure where three people all date each other. This can be open or closed. It is valid to want that type of relationship, but it is one of the most difficult to establish and maintain. The polyamorous dating pool is already very limited compared to monogamy. Trying to find someone who wants to date you and a specific other person just makes it that much harder. Also, a thruple is not just one relationship. It's at least three. You have a relationship with person A, person B, and the three of you together. Each of those relationships require its own kind of care and attention. As a friend of mine recently said, thruples are polyamory level 100. You may not want to go for them if you're still at level 1. Mistake number 6. Letting new relationship energy completely control you. New relationship energy, or NRE, is not just a non-monogamous concept. Anyone who's been in a relationship knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's that thrilling, exciting, giddy feeling you get when things are going well with a new person. Enjoying that satisfying feeling is perfectly fine, but it can come with some unintended side effects. Make sure you're not chasing NRE just to abandon people when the feeling either wears off or at least diminishes. You should also be careful that NRE isn't causing you to neglect your existing relationships. It is very easy to get swept up in the feeling, and you don't want existing partners to become an afterthought. If you found this video helpful, I'm trying to get back on a regular posting schedule on this channel, so hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Also, I make art for a living, and I have a bunch of polyamorous originals up in my shop. I've got designs for the nerds among us, more subtle designs for those who aren't exactly out to the world, and even for those who are just here for the leftovers. So if any of that sounds good to you, my shop link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.